Hello and welcome back to Let's Code Physics. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun. Uh, we are going to try out the game uh, Guess the Correlation, available at guessthecorrelation.com. Uh, this recently got some national attention. Uh, basically, this game uh, is created or was created by a uh, graduate student uh, who wants to study um, how well humans can guess correlations in data. Um, if you go to the to the about screen, um, uh, it, it basically states that so people have a pretty good idea of telling when things are not correlated. So an R value of zero, and when things are correlated, an R value of one. But it's those in between ones, like an R of 0.5, that we kind of have a difficulty uh, 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 figuring out. Um, and so what he's done is he's put together this. Um, is he's put together this uh, this game where your goal is to guess the R value for uh, for a randomly generated set of data. And basically, if you guess within 0.05 of the true correlation, you get an extra life and some extra coins. The coins are then used uh, to tabulate your score later on. If you guess within 0.1, you get a coin. And if you uh, guess uh, with, with a greater error than 0.1, then you lose a life. You start out with three lives. They're hearts, so I tend to think of them as health, not lives. But, you know, that's just, that's just a, an artistic interpretation. Um, and uh, the, the student is uh, actually using this in uh, in in some data analysis. So every time you guess, it's going to store that guess, uh, your guess and the correct value, and it's it's going to use that. He, he's going to eventually use that uh, in some analysis. So you don't want to be taking the data and putting in some software to get the real R value. You want to be genuinely guessing, which is pretty cool. Um, and I I've, I've, I've played with it a little bit, um, so I thought I might uh, just give it a little bit of a playthrough on the channel, uh, give you my thoughts about it, and and uh, uh, and just uh, you know, kind of explore it together. Um, I have already started a game. I in fact just died a few minutes ago. I got a high score of 34. Um, so I'm going to uh, start a new game here. Um, okay, so I start out. Uh, you see, the interface is pretty simple. Um, you've got your lives and your coins up here. You've got your randomly generated data set here, and you're supposed to guess your uh, the what you think the R value is here. Now, all of the R values are positive. Everything's going uh, you know up and to the right, so you're not having to discern anything with negative. Um, oh, you also get uh, uh, extra points for getting streaks, um, and I guess there's a, a reporting of your mean error there. Um, so let's see. So for example, I see this, and I see that it's somewhat correlated. Um, I'm not going to go above 0.5 on this one, but I've, I've, I've kind of learned that you don't want to underestimate. So I'm going to go with a 0.4. Oh, all right. So the true R was a 0.41. I guessed a 0.4. The difference was a 0.01. Um, I, I am on my first streak with one of them and I got an, I, I got an extra life, although you only have a maximum of three lives, which is unfortunate. And I got five coins there. And I think think your coins is your score? I'm not sure because one of the things that I've noticed about this is it doesn't display your current score. It displays your high score. Uh, and I didn't take note of, of, of how the coins translated into my score. So we'll, we'll figure that out in a second. Um, this one looks a little bit less correlated than the previous one. I'm going to maybe go 0.35. Oh, that did not work out so well. I got a 0.53, a uh, difference of 0.18, so I lost a heart there. My streak is over, and my mean error has gone up, which is unfortunate. All right, on to the next one. Okay, this one, it looks pretty scattered, but I've been fooled before. I was just fooled recently. Let's go with 0.3 again. Oh, there was a 0.49, geez. Okay, next time I'm gonna next time I see one like that, I'm gonna guess a half. Okay, this one looks like it's stronger than the last one. The last one was a half, so let's try a point. I want to say point seven. Let's go like point six five. Okay, cool. I actually overguessed that one, so I overcorrected based on that. So I kind of wonder if uh, if the researcher behind this is going to. Um, track it versus time like do people actually learn it better as they play throughout the game I don't know that would be something interesting to check um, <clears throat> I should also mention as a physicist I don't typically work with scattered data like this um, and so it's this is a little bit outside of the field for me because usually if we don't get an R squared value of greater than 0.9 uh, we did the experiment wrong um, at least, uh, yes, in, in an intro, even in an intro course. Uh, this one looks decently correlated. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a 0. 
Okay, cool. I, I was close enough to get a coin. I didn't gain a life, but I didn't lose a life either. Okay, that is very, very correlated. I'm going to go 0.95. Ooh, I got an extra life. Wow. Yeah, so it's got this neat, you know, little little retro feel to it. You know, it's, 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 it's using the one-up noise, which is also from the planets. So it's sort of copying a copy there. Um, although, I don't know. Is that in the public domain? That, that might be in the public domain. I don't know. I'm not here to evaluate copyright issues. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one, see now, if I understand the way an R value works correctly, this looks uncorrelated unless I look in the different quadrants because one of the things you can look for is that there's more data in this quadrant and this quadrant than there are in this quadrant and this quadrant. So this one actually might be a bit correlated. I'm going to go with a 0.3. Oh, it was a 0.06. Well then, okay, maybe I don't know my R values as well. Um, boy, this is a humbling experience, isn't it? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> On this one, you know what? I'm I, I'm I'm gonna go with point, I'm gonna keep guessing 0.3 till I get one. All right, so 0.36. Good. So you know maybe it just teaches me that I can just uh, keep guessing a number until I get it. Right. All right. So there's also a, a game of probability here. Um, let's see. There's next to nothing in this quadrant. That's gotta mean some kind of high correlation, right? Um, let's go with 0.35. Oh, a 0.1. Okay, so I'm in I'm in dire straits here. I am I have one life left. Uh, this is not looking good. Um, okay, this one is decently correlated. I have a much easier time with the, with ones looking like this. I think. Let's go with a 0.75. I haven't guessed a 0.7 yet. I don't think. Oh, and that was a half. Oh, and I lose. Oh, okay, so now I see. The number of coins is your score. Okay, so I got 34 coins before. Uh, let's, let's give it one more try here. I can, I can put on my scientist hat here for a second instead of just my physicist hat. Uh, this one, let's go with 0.5. I, I, I lost on a 0.5 last time. Okay, okay, so, okay, so 0.5 seems to be a safe guess when my little quadrant rule is set up. Uh, it looks like. Um, this one, my quadrant rule does not look like it's being met. So I'm going to go with, let's go with a 0.4. Oh, that was, oh, that was very not correlated. Oh dear. Um, I hope my colleagues in statistics aren't watching this video. They, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll probably come to my office with a, with a statistics 101 textbook. Um, let's see, there, that one's, it's not very tight, but it's, it's, it's following in the same direction. I'm gonna go 0.75 again. Ooh, 0.65, okay. So I was just inside the difference there to get a plus one coin, awesome. Um, yeah, so I saw this reviewed in the Atlantic. I'm, I'm sort of waiting for XKCD to do a, a, a comic about it. This one seems really small. I'm, I'm gonna go 0.1. Ooh, 0.06, all right, yay, okay. Um, I wonder if I'm getting any better at this, I don't know. Um, because you are getting the feedback immediately, so the real way to test it at the end would be to have people guess it and you not tell them whether they're right, you know. Uh, that looks pretty decent. I'm going to go with a 0.8. Ooh, 0.82. All right. I was debating between 0.8 and 0.85. Um, I guess I would have gotten the bonus either way. Yeah, there's only, there's only you know, three tiers of score, so it might also be neat for it to, you know, um, it might be neat for the points to scale a little bit more finely with the um with the with how well you guess but then again i guess that just shows it doesn't have a high r value huh huh see what it did there um let's go to the point six five i, I want to say point seven but i've been burned on that before Ooh, point six two and i hadn't heard that sound effect before so that's kind of cool um okay i am getting close to my high score all right uh this is uh, it's decently correlated here, here, and not so much here. I'm going to go 0.8. Oh, it was 0.66. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then, boy, I'm really, I, 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 I think I've, I think I've followed this, this author on Twitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I really want to see when this paper comes out. Um, <clears throat> all right. I've been burned by ones like this before. I'm going to go 0.5. Oh, a 0.3. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Finally, finally, a high correlation one. Uh, I'm really just playing the odds here. Um, oh gosh, is that, that might be a 0.9. I'm going to go 0.9. Woo. All right. Got an extra life. All right. I'm back in the game. I am three away from my previous high score. Oh, and I get this one. 
3.6. Okay, all right, I'm back up to three hearts and I have passed my high score. All right, let's keep going with this. Uh, okay, that is not very well correlated. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a 0.4 because I have a feeling this one might be deceptive. Oh, all right, yeah, 0.37, okay. Now, see, here's the other thing is there's a maximum of three lives, right? So I just gained a life, but not really, right? Um, okay, all right, let's see here. Uh, that one's more correlated, so let's go with a 0.75. All right, all right, I'll take it, I'll take it. Got me a coin, got me a coin. Um, let's see, oh, that is... See, this is where I have trouble with it because you could technically fit this one with a curve that goes like this, and this is just the noise, and this is the kind of the real data. Mm, I'm gonna hedge, 0.5. Oh, that one's horrible, okay. Because really, because there's two things to correlation. There's how well it correlates to the fit, but then there's what the actual slope is. But I think this thing is always tending toward a slope of one or nothing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go with the 0.6. This one looks a little bit higher than the last one. Okay, 0.66. All right, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I wonder if I can, uh, I wonder if I can break 50. Um, let's see. I just have to get two right before I get two wrong, right? Um, uh, point four maybe. Okay, we are back up to full lives. I have broken fifty. Um, let's see. Uh, gosh, oh. I'm gonna go point five again. I know. Uh, no, no, no. It's almost never point five. Oh gosh, now I'm playing the odds on correlation. How how uh, how meta is that? Uh, let's go with a point four. Why didn't y'all tell me to put in the 0.5 for crying out loud? All right, let's try one more, and then I think we'll call this one a day. Um, oh, dear. Uh, point... Let's go with point 0.4 again. Oh, even worse. Okay. Well, I want to get one more right before we call it a day, or I want to go on a blaze of glory. Um, yeah, let's go with the point 0.3. Oh, and I died. Oh, well. So... I learned a little bit. Um, I, I got better there for a little while, and then for whatever reason, I just I just I tanked. I don't know. So um, uh, yeah. So to the author, thank you so much for making this game. This is surprisingly fun and and a little bit addictive. Um, um, you know. So so go have a look at it at guessthecorrelation.com. Uh, you know, participate in this research. And uh, yeah, this has been really fun. I can I can really recommend it. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.